and that that was something else that was fun because mm. some people like a particular genre and some people don't. Mm. And I found that people who don't like a per particular genre will give it a worse rating than uh, those who do. Yeah. I like sci-fi mm -hmm. and time travel and aliens and uh, espers. <laughs> espers. <laughs> you know I was going there. Um, and and so because I do, I I I can enjoy that kind of film even when certain aspects of it are not up to mm. Hollywood code for mm. um, the formula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Where folks who are not particularly enthralled with that <laughs> genre will not give it the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Well, I think the problem we, we have with uh, anime mm. where uh, folks will walk in and try to understand anime from, you know, episode. Yeah, Scene six, episode nine of Yamada's first time. They're jumping in. <laughs> it's like I background, yeah, background. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's always tough. Okay, so we're getting B23. some of those Paulettes on there. The sort of side panels. B twenty three. So Gundams are designed to look like samurai armor. Hmm. Um, samurai. not exactly. But there's definitely a samurai armor feeling to the Gundams. It's why you see those little, you know, little bits and bobs on top of their heads. Those are like the samurai um, uh, helmets. Yeah. So let's see here. This goes like were, that. Were those things functional or to intimidate? Or I think they were uh, a bit of both. I, I suppose if it does intimidate, then it has <laughs> yeah. proved its function. True. Um, yeah, I think in general. Oh, cool! Wow, where's what's that? Cool, I get beam sabers hmm. um, that actually detach. That's amazing. Oh. Um, well, that's right because I had the little uh, beam. It's right because here, here we go. And there's a little beam saber. Nice. Cool. All right. All right. So let me get the hilts. Wow. Um, oh. So yeah. So the um, uh, yeah. I, I, so the the helmets themselves were pretty functional. But the um, the bits and bobs were more to intimidate. Let's see. Oh, I've got an exclamation point. Oh, I better pay attention. Hmm. Number two. Oh, wow, that's mm. really tiny. That's tinier than the eye. <laughs> Might see. be one of those things where put this on first and yeah. then put it together. Yeah. Or. I've occasionally done things where I'm like, that one's not going on. That's the one that I'm just not going to get a sticker there. That one's just not going to not gonna work. Wouldn't be prudent out of this juncture. Oh, wow. It goes up underneath, it looks oh, like. Oh, okay. Wow. Hmm. That's, that's why it's kind of tricky. Mm. I think so. It looks like the only spot it's going mm. upward like that. And wow. the underneath is there. Yeah. Time to look at the box and see. Mm -hmm. if... Holy smokes. Maybe some more pictures. Yeah. So, yeah, it goes on B23. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. E. 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 E4. It's always nice having the pictures to refer to. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. So this, my beam saber. Beam saber. It goes like that. Wish I could get that. Okay, I need. Oh wow! At this saber. point, maybe an exacto knife. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a tiny. Mm. Holy smokes, that's insane. Wow. We have a uh, saying small as a gnat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty small. <laughs> that is pretty small. Wow. Oh, yeah, there's a little beam light thing in, its, uh, in there. Wow. Yeah. Bing. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy cool. Their attention to detail there mm. is incredible. Yep. Okay, so there's, yep, sure enough, there's the beam sabers. And I guess they do, wow. 
Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So they clip to the side. Oh, you pop them off. Nice. I'm I'm unreasonably happy with that. <laughs> Just a neat neat detail. I'm gonna set that there. Mm. Sharps. <laughs> okay. This goes on. So yeah. I've always wanted to make a Gundam series. Hmm. That'd be fun. Exhausting, but fun. Yeah. I guess I want to write one more than <laughs> like I want to conceptualize one. I don't know that I want to be in the production. Does Gundam have stuff. fan fiction? Oh yeah. Plenty of that. Plenty of that. It's not a bad idea. Where's uh, Oh, because it's on the other one. E Wow. Ah. Definitely good to follow the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point. That must mean something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. G1. G1. Oh, G. Yeah. Now, wasn't there an E3 that just occurred recently? That's true. The Electronics um, Entertainment Expo, I think. That sounds like it would be a fun one to go to. Yeah, all those video gamers. Gamers. Doing their video game stuff. Um, oh, wow, okay. So they want me to actually pop it on there. Um, pop it on. PC4 and A12. PC4. G1. 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 A12. A12. I think I see A12. A bit of a torso bit in the middle. And I think designing these things would be kind of like being somebody who designs Lego kits. Oh. That seems like it would be a lot of fun. I wonder how you get that job. Yeah. You must defeat the previous uh, <laughs> one in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So. Um, this has this ball and socket joint here, obviously, but they actually give it an extra ball and socket joint. So I'm going to pop this guy on. They've got an extra? Here. Yeah, so there's a second. Oh, for more articulation. Yeah, more articulation. So I should be able to pop that on here. I'm going to pull that out so I don't break it. Um, there we go. And then that goes on like that. Yeah, so you can do some actual, you know, some really... Some pivoting forwards and backwards and left and right. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, this design is a little sleeker and slimmer than a lot of other Gundams and mobile suits. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then what am I screwing out of his crotch there? <laughs> um, uh, reminds me of Red Dwarf. Oh, yes! Oh, Red Dwarf. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. There's so um, if I may be indelicate for a minute, um, there is indeed a, a hole right down there, um, and that is for a um, putting it on a base. So if you want him to be flying, oh. you can just sort of you can have insert him. it right there, <laughs> and then he's uh, he's flying. So <laughs> cool. it's kind of letting you know that they they wow. included a, a, a spot just for that. It's really coming together. Yeah, it's taking shape. It's taking shape. Now, of course, I've got about a billion wings to put on this thing. <laughs> So that's going to take a little while. Mm. Oh, your torso is really looking awesome. Yes. Nice. It's coming together slow and steady. Of the clear plastic. That's great. All yeah. the detail. Awesome. All right. Um, moving on to C42. <laughs> What is that? Oh, can I think it was C41, I guess? Oh, guns. Guns. Moving on to the guns. Guns. Hmm. And that and folds down. The build strike Gundam based on the strike Gundam from Gundam Seed. It was a controversial series over in America. Oh, why was that? Versus that. Well, just, um, I guess controversial is a, a poor choice of words. Um, not very well liked in America versus over in Japan. Oh, I've got a similar 
Exclamation point. Um, C34. Um, folks just really didn't like it. It just wasn't uh, received well? It wasn't received well. And I never could quite understand why folks were so annoyed by it. They, they didn't like some of the characterizations and such. But um, I thought it was uh, you know, not that much better or worse than uh, anything else. Hmm. Um, wow. Okay. So we've got a little thing. It goes. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm gonna have to clip the barrel on like that. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then the and C36 and C37 do something. C36. Oh, okay. Different weapons. All right. It's starting to make sense now. There are multiple different weapons that I'm putting together. Oh, wow. And That, that uh, could make it tricky. Yeah. <laughs> um, because he has sort of a little pistol and other things. So these just pop together. Um, C36, C37, and then C38 goes on the front of that C38, which is a little uh, barrel thing. Ah, that's going to go like this. Yeah, come on. I said, there we go. Let's see. Okay. Um, and then C39 and C40. I forgot how many guns he has. See multiple steps. Yeah. Mm. See, so it looks like that. Ah, the head. Yeah. Cool. Tricky. Mm. Trixie, they tricks us. They tricks us. <laughs> what have I got in my pocket? <laughs> My pockets is <laughs> Trixie Hobbitses. Mm. Hmm. Angled backwards. All right, so that pops on there. Of course, where I'm going to keep all of these little guns, I have no idea. And then C33. That's the other problem with this. Is it's like, all right, now um, I've got to find a spot to keep them. Hmm. So mm -hmm. display cases. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That kind of stuff. Hmm. Not to mention just, OK, you know, you can display the model kit, but then also what about the three guns it comes with? What about the extra shield? All that stuff that you may or may not want to have with that. Use it for your next uh, matchup. <laughs> True. Yeah. Good point. And then C35 is a little handle thing. C35. Let's see here. Nice. So there's a little... See, so it comes with a little... Um, Handle on the side. Mm. Grasp oh, out of that cool. while you fire it. <laughs> Neat. All right. And now we move on to shieldy things, I think. E3. Speaking of E3. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of potential. So I think... You know, once 3D printing gets to that point where the quality is much higher for desktop 3D printers, um, it's going to be kind of hard for companies like Bandai to compete with hordes of individuals who will just design these for free and mm -hmm. release the files on the internet. Hmm. Sort of like uh, the way that things went with uh, mo media, yep. music, and movies. Exactly. It's like when the real world becomes, to an extent, replicatable. Um, 
everything becomes slippier, slippery. Yep. For <laughs> yep. For content creators. Um. So let's figure out something. B. 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 B two. And that finishes out that one. A little gun fit together into a big gun. Actually, do they? Oh, do they? Cool. Nope, they don't. Nope. Uh. No. Yeah, no, just um, Say's um, design for this is similar to the, to the Gundam C design, which is just a lot of guns firing off at once, uh, which is a, a fun uh, sort of concept, but it's just a, it's a, it's a very flashy design. Um, it also lets you have weapons that once they run out of ammo, as we mentioned, you throw mm -hmm. aside and pick up the next one. Hmm. Okay. So that goes into the box. And I think, in fact, um, nope, still got a bit more in that one. I think E's done. Yes, E's done. And uh, PC is done. Wow. And get to is a tricky done. part. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. put those little uh, horns on. Yeah. Mm. D. Where's D? D D D D D. G one. Uh, F. C. Hello. I mean, it has me a little oh, worried. Oh, there's, there's a D. frame that. Oh. The box ah, there. thank you. <laughs> D one. What do you know? <laughs> um. That solves that problem. So one, oh, splash of yellow. Two, three. So Let's one. See. Put this on. One, then two. Put it in there, and then three. And the stickers. Let's see. Uh, uh, the coordination one? test. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four, five, two, and three. Two. Ah. Interesting. Uh, I think I got it there. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Wow. That took a little bit of work. <laughs> uh, how satisfying it is that I didn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's great. Yeah. Now to do Yamato. Mm. Now I, I wonder if that's snapped together, if that's glue. Which? The Yamato. Oh, yeah. That's probably... Well, I don't know. Are, are most I kits... Uh, I, that's a good question. I, I, I really only know about Gundam model kits in terms of Japanese kits. Because they are Bandai, I think. Yeah. It might be um, snapped together. That would be neat. Yeah. I may have to do two. One, mm. just to get the feel for it, and then yeah. paint it with the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> after watching the series. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, you've seen Yamato. I've seen it, but a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Same here. Yeah. Actually, I... I it's that's a whole been, franchise. That's not even true. I've, I've only seen a few episodes. A few episodes, yeah. I, I, I have to admit. So, G is completely completed. Nice. Yes. Congrats. Progress. <laughs> it's interesting that the joints have a very different feel in the plastic. It's mm. a, oh, it's a, it's a much yeah, like a PVC softer. kind of thing. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think that is PVC actually. Um, so this just fits together, and then um, something happens. C nine. Oh. Ah. There's a lot of C9s. Mm. Do this twice, okay? <laughs> C9. Wow, that's pretty interesting. PC7. Oh, yeah. There's a little gun mm. thing there. Um. <laughs> and here is how to actually do this. Wow, that's crazy. So that? um, not only does it stick out, it's hinged. So it goes in and out. Nice. That's pretty impressive. All right, so we know that should fit in there. In fact, let's... Do a little posing here. 
PC9, 9, C8, C8. So those will be the nines, and this will be, it doesn't seem right. Mm. Mm. C8, C9, C8. But I hate to get ahead of myself and pull yeah. off too many pieces. Beware, Evan. Ah! <laughs> cool. Um, I love that they actually have illustrations showing the guns going to their hands, saying, this is where the gun goes, into the hand. I think I can figure that one out. Ah. <laughs> Not in the feet? Really? You sure? Okay. Oh, C8s are bigger. Mm. And then the beam of Seburu. And then the uh, C32. So there's a little clip for that. Oh, I see why those are. Oh, no. Mm. I've taken uh -oh. off pieces prematurely. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to have mm. to remember. Yeah. Okay. Those are. I see on this it says PC and then it says C and it says A all within the same board. Oh, wow. So PC. Here's A. Oh, wow. Here's yeah. C. And here's PC. Oh, yes, it's PC C8. Wow. Yeah, that yeah, was tricky. that was tricky. Yeah, I was wondering why it said PC7 <laughs> and C8 C9. Yeah, those are different C's. Sailing the seven C's. So you that doesn't make sense. That At first, know. I was looking at it, going, "That shape looks different." <laughs> Maybe when I get them all up, no, that shape oh, looks different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. So that pops on there. All right, so this, the shield. Off to the side. Oh, that's pretty Ooh. nice. Oh, oh, mm. I'm noticing something. These are yeah. both the same C frame. Oh, interesting. Exactly Duplicates. the same duplicate. Oh, interesting. Uh, probably a right and a left. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Hmm. For symmetry. Mm, for justice. And the pursuit of enjoyable, <laughs> enjoyable experiences. Yeah, this is interesting. I'm, I'm seeing extra torso pieces on here. How is this going to work? Oh, it's the backpack. Right. So let's start on that. Let's see. C9, C8, and PC7. This is also not an activity to do while you're, say, eating Cheetos or buttered popcorn. Or drinking heavily. Or drinking heavily, yes. <laughs> oh, that can create some very amusing Gundams. <laughs> Um, I imagine it would be uh, frustrating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, there and then G one four exclamation point. Wait, I just threw away G one. No. Um, so threw away G one. G one. G one. Oh, G four. Oh, mm, G. G one. Something still on G four. That is G one. No, it's PC. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, used that part. <laughs> yeah. C. G1. G1. Four. Little circuit boardy thing. Mm. Okay. The exclamation point. Oh, that only goes in one way. And it's a little subtle. Okay, so I think I've got that. You gotta beware those subtle differences. They can, yeah. they can make a big change in mm -hmm. everything. Why is it not fitting? Why is it not? Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. And then G1, 11 and 12. G1, 11 and 12. C7. So these guys clip together. So I can remember which ones are mm. which. This is. Eight, and this is nine. That's a neat little cutting board there. <laughs> that is, that's, that's and it keeps me <laughs> keeps me straight on my pieces. <laughs> All right, so we've got. How the heck does? Oh, okay. We just do we just move it together? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a little little cockpit. Um, and then that snaps together into there. Okay. With you so far. 
school. Yep, that's in there. And then F6 and F11. Moving into the blue. Into the blue. F6. That's right, it has a core fighter mode. Um, six and F11. Yeah, Gundam is a, it's a whole, it's a multiverse. Not, never, never mind a universe. <laughs> the multiverse. That's the other nice thing is that, uh, you know, you can always find some version of Gundam that appeals to you. F6, F11. There's F6, I think. F6. There's F11. There's apparently some sticker, sticker number 11, which goes on there. Um, 18, 7, 12, 18, 11. That's a weird one. <laughs> How the heck? How is that supposed to fit on there? Oh, wow. All across the... Okay. With stickers, it's interesting. I always try and look for... Well, this looks like it would be across a fold somewhere. Yeah. Like it's got to wrap around, and it's usually at a funny yep, angle. And that's exactly what it is. There's no way this sticker could no. stick on there flat. That's it's got to wrap. kind of crazy. So <laughs> that, that white is all that sticker that goes on that it Wraps curve. all the way around the curve. Yeah. Huh. Sneaky. Exactly. Uh, so there's that. And then we want we have something even more funky with G1. G1 5. Uh, G G. Hmm. G1 G1 5. About how many Gundam models do you suppose there are out there? Oh gosh, hundreds. Do they discontinue some of them? Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. somebody could have a limited edition. Indeed. I actually lucked into getting a limited edition, um, the uh, Turn A Gundam, uh, which was quite, which it now, you, which I think they re-released, but it's uh, it's very difficult to get now. Hmm. Um, you know, just, you, you never know. You never know. You just happened to get one that was uh, that. Gundam Connoisseur. Yeah. Yeah, cool. The, the, the cool right sticker. vintage. Exactly. Look at that. So that sticker there. Whoa. Yeah. Is that's gonna go on there somehow. That's got a lot of folds on yeah. it. I can see some of them are obvious, but some yeah. of them are not. And they've actually sort of pre-painted those lines for us, which is kind of nice. So now to figure out how all that fits on. Oh, okay. So it wraps around. Oh. Is it that way? I'm still working on slot A, tab B. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not there. Let's see, close. E, 12 and 13. Um, there. Mm -hmm. Little tabs in the top. Oh, um, I I always get excited when I when I see uh, something that's one of the uh, unusual colors. Yeah, Ooh, bright, bright. <laughs> Let's see. E. E. 13 and 12. 13 and 12. Oh, they're in match sets. Hmm. Oh, wow. That even folds around. It the, wraps wow. all over it. It wraps all over it. It almost encloses the thing. Yeah, that's interesting. There's even a little extra for the... Uh, for in up there, and there's there's less for the the parts that so it's thinner there, so there's actually less there, but it wraps around more on the bottom. That's wow, nuts. they've gone to the nth degree. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we know that fits in there. It's the only way it can fit in. That's looking pretty slick. Um, so there's that, and then I'm presuming. Oh yeah, sure enough. And we're going to do the same thing. So we have um, F3 and F12. So same thing, other side. F3 and F12. Hmm. 
So Japan has become really good at making toys. They're considered one of the world leaders in making toys. Oh, um, they've been kind of ahead of the curve for decades, and the reason is World War Two. World War Two, when Japan lost World War Two, and America came in, one of the things they stipulated was that the Japanese would have to start making toys on the cheap for American for export to America, hmm. um, and the the rates were absurdly low. And it was very difficult for um, for those folks to make any money at it, but it was part of um, you know paying back for the war, so to speak. Wow, Re rebuilding something, right? Um, and the idea was, I mean, ideally that it would uh, uh, jumpstart the economy. Um, and the funny thing that happened is that uh, all the companies that got involved in that got really good at making toys. And so they started really um, after a long time. Oh, powerhouse. Yeah, they became, they became definitely became a powerhouse, and um, to the point where they put a lot of American companies out of business. <laughs> the irony. Exactly. <laughs> um, they just could not compete with the the Japanese skill at making toys. So all those cheap tin toys of the '60s. Oh yeah. Yeah, those m most of those are made in Japan. And a lot of those are collectibles now. Yeah. Highly collectible. Mm. Yeah, they they uh, they had to, and it kind of, in a sense, worked out. Well, I'm sure if you asked them at the time, they wouldn't have been quite as positive. Not as positive. No. Yeah. All right. So how do we do this again? Um, that goes up here. So a positive outcome out of a mm. not so ideal situation. Yeah. C12, C3 and 4. Mm. C, C part. C part <laughs> where? <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> All right, that goes back there. And there's the attach to F4. I'm going to assume it's that big thing there. F4. Yeah, I bought this kit actually at I think Otacon last year, and I was no, it was, it was a Catscon last year. Cause Catscon. I was with you. Um, and I was amazed because they had one of these. The uh, the Gundam Build Fighter series had only come out recently in Japan, and uh, they had brought three with them, and I bought the last one <laughs> Friday afternoon. Hmm. So apparently, it was a pretty popular series. Anybody out there got the other two? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Throw some in a bone. <laughs> um, so that goes ah, so those go there, and that slots in there. Oh, so those will actually turn a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then that attaches into the core fighter bit, like that. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yep, yeah, that works. Um, and then we have a sticker for the cockpit. Oh. Oop, oop, oop. No, no! Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Did they, did they explode to... to <laughs>